when you go to Ghana, it's different. Like normally, when you go on a holiday, you might go to Dubai, you might go to America. You have a, the time difference. You might have a late night where it's four a.m. their time. You're like, oh, let me go to bed. Ghana, bro, four a.m. You're saying, where is the next spot? <laughs> That's what you're saying at four a.m. Then at six a.m., oh, people are saying, "What you got eighth? Jesus!" Just to enjoy Ghana for the first time, you know. I heard a lot of good stories about it. Seen a lot of TikTok videos, so I'm ready to have a good time, drink, party, network, meet a lot of people. So leave me a comment. Let me know if you're going. You know, we can link, talk, grab a couple drinks. You know, enjoy the new country. <laughs> ladies, 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 it is now December 4th, and if you or we have not lost the weight yet for Dead to December, you have to know that confidence will be your currency, aka confidence will be your city while you are in Ghana. Ghana, Ghana, hey, hey, now I understand what you meant by the pressure is getting worse. <laughs> How the parties don't start to 12 a.m., 1 a.m., and you continue partying. 7 o'clock in the morning, the sun has risen. People are going to work, but still out here partying. I'm tired. Even my wig is all tired. I need to go home. But I'll stay a little longer just to enjoy. And then go back to the Guerra America. Ghana, I beg you, you can't do this. How? How are you guys doing this? This is not meant for being like this ah. so you want to go to ghana here's some things you should probably know before you go if you are left-handed you can go ahead and cancel the flight if you use your left hand especially for an elder person see what happens and it is about 2024 here we come hi guys my name is delvina i'm very very excited returning back to you if this is your first time on this channel, please subscribe to the channel, like this video, and share this video to as many eyes out there. People really have to see this video because uh, I have a very important, you know, information uh, that you have to know, especially people who want to visit Ghana or are already in Ghana. Share this video to whoever needs it. Yeah, let's watch this video together and share our thoughts. Let's watch. When you go to Ghana, it's different. Like, normally when you go on a holiday, you might go to Dubai, you might go to America, you have a the time difference, you might have a late night where it's 4 a.m. their time. You're like, oh, let me go to bed. Ghana, bro, 4 a.m., you're saying, where is the next spot? <laughs> That's what you're saying at 4 a.m. Then at 6 a.m., oh, people are saying, what, you got eighth? Jesus. All right, cool, let's go eighth. What's the other one? There's eighth. There's Front, a... back, play. No, there's another Switch. one. Twist. Twist, so yeah. The, the, the two late ones are eighth or twist. <laughs> but the people are, it's 9 a.m., you're getting into the crowd, man on tables. <laughs> Dancing like this 9 so a.m. It's crazy. You, so you could sleep at like 10 a.m. Yeah, 10, it's 10, 11. It's called Dirty December, guys. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I need to know who's all going to Daddy December this year. Because I'm going. Got a few people going. But it's always nice to meet more people. Just to enjoy Ghana for the first time. You know, I heard a lot of good stories about it. Seen a lot of TikTok videos. So. I'm ready to have a good time, drink, party, network, meet a lot of people. So leave me a comment. Let me know if you're going. You know, we can link, talk, grab a couple drinks, you know, enjoy the new country. <laughs> I'm ready, y'all. Let's go. So you want to go to Ghana? Here's some things you should probably know before you go. If you are left-handed, you can go ahead and cancel the flight. If you use your left hand, especially for an elder person, see what happens. The second thing is greetings. Greetings are so important in Ghana. If you walk past someone and you don't greet them, you're rude. Personally, had to learn this the hard way. When I lived in Ghana, there was this really nice ice cream store at the end of my street. I used to walk there pretty much every day to get ice cream. Yes, I was big back. I remember this one time I walked there, got my ice cream, walked back and on the way back, this lady, she just went off on me telling me i was rude and disrespectful because i didn't greet her and ever since then i now greet people number three you're invited this here this is a saying that you need to remember what it means how to use it when somebody is around you and they have food you're here you're invited 
This is a beautiful saying. They are saying that you can have some of their food. They want you to try a bit. It is also expected of you if you have food and people around you just tell them you're invited just give them a little bit if they want to try it i personally didn't understand this one at first yeah in the uk i just feel like we have no community nobody likes each other nobody shares but in ghana just think that's such a beautiful thing they're sharing their food with you they're just nice that's just how they are in ghana number four the food is spicy everything is spicy if you order the mildest dish in ghana if you order some shoe and you tell them please don't make it spicy that dish is going to be the most spicy thing you've ever tasted everything is spicy so if you can't pack spice bring bring a couple sandwiches with you pack them in your suitcase i have a list of about 100 things so if you want a part two let me know ghana ghana hey hey now i understand what you meant by the pressure is getting worse up. <laughs> How the parties don't start to 12 a.m., 1 a.m., and you continue partying. 7 o'clock in the morning, the sun has risen. People are going to work, but still out here partying. I'm tired. Even my wig is all tired. I need to go home. But I'll stay a little longer just to enjoy. And then go back to the Guerrero America. <laughs> I'm tired travel to Ghana this December or just want some travel tips to help guide you while you're in the country, here's all that you need to know. And what are my credentials? Well, besides consistently traveling to Ghana, I'm also the founder of a travel and tour startup called Mela Africa that is centered around connecting cultures through safe, authentic, and immersive experiences that diversify your time in Ghana, but also directly support the local communities and businesses that have not only welcomed us into their space, but have played a pivotal role in the expansion of sustainable tourism in Ghana. That was a lot, so let's get into it. So let's talk about prep before you get to Ghana. There are three things that you need to get into the country. Your passport, visa, and your yellow fever vaccination card. With your passport, the only thing to know is that it needs to be valid for at least six months post your trip to Ghana. If your trip to Ghana is in December, your passport needs to be valid up to at least June or July. Let's say June. So with your visa, you need to apply at least two to three weeks before your trip. I recommend applying earlier if you're able to. If you are running behind on this, you can apply for a rush visa, which takes at least seven days to process after they receive it in the mail. But remember that this is the peak season, so it's always better to just do it ahead of time. The completely last resort if you are down on time is to apply for a visa on arrival. I would not recommend that especially in December, but if you don't have any choice, it is definitely a great option to utilize. Lastly, you need your yellow fever vaccine. People have mixed reviews on whether you need this. I will always say to have that card on you. I've always been checked for it. Some people have gotten lucky and they don't get checked for it. However, I promise you that you'll be the one that gets checked <laughs> and you just don't want to have that be an issue when you land in Ghana. And you don't want to be bribed either so let's just have that card on us you want to get this vaccine at least 10 days before you travel to ghana the last thing on this list is not really something that you need to get into ghana but i recommend doing this before you land which is to get your malaria pills from your doctor and you want to start taking that at least what four days before you leave but you can also get this while you're in ghana as well so it's completely up to you that's it for that to december prep in part two i'm going to give tips for when you arrive in ghana so stay tuned this is me waking up three days after new year's eve in ghana like i'm done i'm done i'm going back to sleep you can wake me up next year december because this is not normal how am i supposed to go to work i'm supposed to go to work today hey my boss calling me this morning, I'd be like, boss, I'm sorry, I'm sick. <laughs> Ghana, I beg you, you can't do this. How? How are you guys doing this? This is not meant for being like this. Ah. Ladies, 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 it is now December 4th. And if you or we have not lost the weight yet for Dead to December, you have to know that 
confidence will be your currency, aka confidence will be your city while you are in Ghana. So let's work on getting our confidence skills up. Baby, go ahead and get you some tummy control underwear. Put that little, you know, that shaper that's breathable on because baby, if the weight is not gone yet, it ain't happening. So work on looking approachable, you know, work on, you know, looking a little bit soft, no screw face, smile. Yeah, so confidence will be your currency and this December. So, yeah. December, Accra boys, they do settings. The girls, they do packaging and then they meet. This was still a stantra. I reached the front of the club. It was showed. The girls, they did and the buzzer, they do back and forth, back and forth. So in order to just get in and avoid frustration, I signaled the bouncer. I'm like, I beg, just make them go, make her go. Then he actually understood and then allowed them in and then I followed. Maybe to them, I be some bomber way, I signal say, oh, I go pay for them, so make them make them enter. So I enter straight, I go DJ booth, I make it late. The guy won't pack up and leave. I go, no, just a tap on my shoulder. I tell her, I'm so pleased, where's your section? I'm like, what do you mean? He's like, oh, what? Like, where's your table? Am I way? I don't hear I go with furniture. <laughs> me and they can't work, take money. They ask me to wear my table. Oh my I'm like, table. Yeah, I'm here to play musical. <laughs> it's like, oh, so you don't have a you don't have a table when he brought us inside like, Jesus Christ. I signal one bouncer. I'm a fan. <laughs> Etu December is when all roads lead to Africa. It's a festive period where African city hotspots like Accra, Ghana, come alive with music, arts, culture, and entertainment. And thousands of people from across the diaspora flock back to their ancestral. So all of you guys were going to Ghana? Hey! Me, I thought all of us were spending the December in America. December in America! Jingle the jingle the jingle all the way! <laughs> This whole time, you guys have bought your tickets. Bro, I went on Instagram. I go here, I see the United Airlines logo with the location, Accra, touchdown. I go to someone else's story. I see they've, they've taken a picture of, you know, the beautiful house in Ghana, Tantumet. I go to someone else's. They've landed in Ghana and they're giving them the welcome. I say, hey, another one. I go. They are eating, watching the leaf, watching the, <laughs> watching the leaf, and they bought two eggs. Not one, two eggs, and they have put the location. Oh, I love Ghana. And all of you guys were going. I remember in the beginning of the year. Oh, look at the plane ticket. Oh, me, I won't go to Ghana this year. Oh, look at that. I'm not going to Ghana this. And you guys have gone. Are you cool? Are you cool? Dirty December, dirty December, dirty December. Now I know what dirty December means. Oh my god, so this is how people come and enjoy December in Ghana, and we are not here appreciating the fact that um there is fun in Ghana. Like, why should we think of traveling to other countries while people are thinking of coming to Ghana to celebrate? Oh my god, this is amazing. Like seeing people coming to Ghana, you know, it's, it's really like it's overwhelming. Hey, <laughs> God. And I'm here thinking of traveling to the Caribbean <laughs> for holiday, you know, and people from those cities are coming to Ghana. So there's no need for me traveling to all those places. If people from there want to come to Africa, Ghana to celebrate the holiday, then guys, we should stay in Ghana and have fun. No need to spend money going on a trip to, you know, the Caribbeans. Because if there's beaches, we have beaches here too. Yes, we do have beaches. We have the Labadi Beach, the La Boba Beach, you know, the Bojo Beach. We have beautiful beaches here. So what will take you out of Ghana when people are planning? And, and you know, the plan is not today. They've been planning for a very long time. Daddy, daddy, December. Now I know what the December means to a lot of people out there. Let's learn how to appreciate what we have, guys. Yes, daddy, December in Ghana is the best ever. I've experienced it once. Yeah, that was 2022. Yeah, I was live at the Afrochella and it was amazing. So if you don't know about um, this festival, 
afro future please guys ha <laughs> if you are in ghana try and look for where to get tickets to this event because it's a bomb like it's really amazing yes that festival is so guys this brings me to the end of my video i'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section below do it to like subscribe to this channel share this video to as many eyes out there i believe they'll watch and also learn one of two things from this clip i love you guys always bye